Hey, Jeff. Jamie, hi. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think you are going to love this home. Yeah, I just hope I can find something I can afford. You know what? This place would be a steal at twice the price. But just to convince you, why don't we go upstairs and take a look at the balcony? You can have the best view in Seattle. What do you say? Okay, sure. All Let's right, do sure. this. Thanks. This is it. The balcony. Wow, this is quite the view. Absolutely, isn't it? Got the Space Needle, entire Seattle skyline. There's not a lot of light pollution up here either. It's one of the best things about this. Just look up at the stars. <sighs> Wonder what it all means. You know, here's another great thing. We're so high up here, you go over the edge, you're dead the second you hit the ground. What? I know. Well, it's one of those things you really got to see for yourself. It doesn't really come across in the brochure, so. Can we move on? Sure. Let me show you the kitchen. Let's go take a look at the kitchen. Now. So, Jamie, did you have any trouble finding the place? No, it wasn't too difficult. Oh, good. Check it out. Yeah, this kitchen's pretty amazing. Beautiful, huh? Got stainless steel countertops, hardwood floors, all custom cabinets, and that oven you're leaning on right there, that's a renovated 1960s-style gas oven. So... If you want to go ahead and throw some towels around the doors and windows around here, check out Sylvia Platt style. That's your ride home. What's your problem? I'm actually just trying to uh, give you a new perspective on everything that this home has to offer and remind you that it is totally painless. I'm not trying to kill myself. Oh, I know you're not trying to kill yourself. Wink! But if you were, rest assured, I would call the police on your behalf to let them know you're in danger. This is ridiculous. Actually, no, this is pretty comparable for the market right now. No, I mean all this talk of darkness and suicide. It's really creeping me out. Okay, fair enough. You know what, Jamie? I'm sorry. I've been doing some therapy lately, and it's kind of stirring up some things. And, uh, you know, I kind of see myself as like the Kurt Cobain of our office. Um, putting out some good stuff. People keep expecting the same things from me. Uh, I'm not that happy with it. There's some problems. And um, but Dave Grohl's fucking my wife. So. I don't think Dave Grohl ever had an affair with Courtney Love. No, I mean Dave Grohl's been fucking my wife lately. Oh. I'm sorry. So. You know what? Don't be sorry. Let's go look at the dining room, huh? Okay. Okay, let's go. And here is your dining room. Well, you're a complete nut, huh? but... uh. This place is pretty perfect. It is beautiful. I mean, look at all this handcrafted wood in here. So nice. It's so bright and open. It's perfect for entertaining. A lot of people over, they come, they fill this home with joy. Eventually they leave. Sadness creeps back in. You wonder what's next. Well, just look up at those support beams. I mean, you can throw a rope over any one of those, easily gonna support somebody twice your size. Just stop it. I don't understand why you think that suicide is a selling point. I'm not going to kill myself. I have a husband and kids. Oh, then you are gonna love the bathroom. We have these huge Greek tiles in there. Super easy cleanup for your husband afterwards. That's so it. Get... You're sick. I'm <laughs> calling your supervisor. Why don't you understand that I don't want to kill myself? Of course you do. No, I don't. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my god, Jamie, I'm sorry. Oh. I totally misread you, all right? I'm so I don't know why I thought that you wanted to kill yourself. I just I feel awful. Wait. We, Wait. I don't necessarily want to kill myself. So you don't want to kill yourself. Let me show you something. Two minutes. Let me show you something. Jamie, come here. Help me! Save me, save me! I'm Dave Grohl! Totally soundproof. Basement. Stop. Dave Grohl. I'll take it. Oh.